morning guys, happy Monday. Today, let me start out saying, if it's only 91 degrees today, this morning, it's going to be hot. It's currently 6.15 and we're at, I think I saw on my phone we were already at 82 this morning, which tells me that today is going to be super hot, which means my kids are not going outside at all today. Because we're already eight, over 80, and they're not allowed to go outside over 80, so it looks like they're not going outside today. And they might not be able to go outside tomorrow. It just depends, and look how much the brake cat is on the fucking road already this morning. Um, today's, let's go back. So there's a reason that we are filming a drive with me this morning. So every morning that I leave before 6.20, there's a car down there at the bottom of the hills that decide that they want to pull out in front of cars when they're going super fast and slow them down to 30 miles an hour. Well, Friday they almost got hit because they did it to me and they're like, yeah, I couldn't slow down in time. But today we are going to film it to show this is a reoccurring problem for people. And do I do you guys? So that's why I'm living it really. So I'm only going to film till I get to Dutch. I might go, I don't want to wait in line, so I might go to the Walmart gas and get gas there because we're going to have to use our air conditioning today a lot because it is so hot and I don't even have the windows open and it is extremely hot and I'm going to be extremely careful coming out because we apparently got, so we got wind last night, wind last night really strong wind last night. So we're still having wind if you can tell. So stuff is on the road. So like that big piece that would damage somebody's car. So my birdies.
is like, so I went to go text somebody else and I was like, hey, did you send a message to him at least? Because there's no message here. He's just like, I thought I did, but apparently I didn't. I'm like, okay. So that was awkward. What she doesn't know is I can look at T-Mobile and I can find out if you sent a message or not. So I looked at T-Mobile and I was looking for a rec number I didn't recognize from it because it doesn't show who the person is, it just shows the number, right? There is a deer. <laughs> and so I found this number that I did not recognize. Well, I actually found two numbers that I didn't recognize. One number was my other friend, so that I solved. But there is another number I didn't recognize. So I was like, okay, it shows it's an outgoing text, which meant that she texted him at 7.40, and then there's an incoming text at 7.41, and then there's an outgoing text at 7.43. I think, I think it might have been later. I think it was probably like 7.30. Yeah, 7.30. she did she deleted the message that she sent him because she didn't want me to see it one don't delete stuff off my phone two don't want to sit here and lie about it in my car about my phone that you deleted messages from like that's gonna make me mad so today if she asks me to borrow my phone I'm gonna go no I can text them just tell me what you want to say. And she's gonna go, why? I'm like, because I don't trust you. I don't like it when people delete shit off my phone. My phone that I pay for every single month. Please be looking this way. Thank you. You know, like, that's the thing is, if you're gonna delete something off of somebody's phone, be honest about it. Don't sit there and lie to me about it. Be honest. If I had to borrow your phone, I would say, hey, do you mind if I borrow your phone? I'll, like, I might delete the message just in case. The only reason that it bugs me is because growing up, there was one week that I was stuck at my dad's mom's house. And she lied to my dad and my dad told her to take my phone away. Well, what my dad didn't realize is that she lied. She didn't tell him the truth. I wasn't on my phone the entire time. And I was only texting mom and Hannah because I was bored. Like, those are the two people that I would text. And I told mom that. I was like, hey, if I can text this week, can I text you and Hannah? And she's like, yeah, you can text me and Hannah. I don't care. So, a little backstory is Hannah's my younger cousin. She's three years younger than I am. So, me and Hannah have always been really close growing up. Not so much now. Now it's me and my older cousin. Um, my older cousin's like two years older than me. Let's see if this jackal lantern um, tries to pass to go in front of me, but I think I'm too early coming down. He might come out. I don't know yet. Oh yeah. So every single morning when I come down here at like 6.20, 6.25, he pulls out in front of me. Every single morning. See? I don't see him yet. It's either in that driveway or it's in this one. Oh, and the morning that I go to reflect and record it, he doesn't come out. It's in one of these driveways. Like, he pulls up in front of you and goes slow. So this morning, he decides not to come out. Which is good, because I got an asshole on my ass. Every single morning. I need to 
last. Are you turning this way? I don't remember. Checking your ass I means slow down. Get off of my butt.
didn't even turn out. But it's okay. At least I got some footage, so. I do want to show you guys. Okay, that was on my butt the entire time. Right. home and whatever that noise is. So this car right here was on my butt the entire drive. And because I didn't move over, he decided he wanted to pass me right now. Also in the shade. It's so hot. thing is they don't really accommodate for dairy issue like Friday we had pizza Yeah. 
close the window because there's a bee. See you guys later. Bye.